Hey, happy Thursday. How's everyone doing? So I promised you six days ago last week, I was going to do the five stages of grief as it relates to being scammed, at least in my case, the things that I've gone through. And let's do that. Let's just put this all behind us and document this for anyone who's curious about how it might apply. Because a lot of the stuff I was looking up, uh, like, how do you cope with these feelings? And what am I going through right now? Like, how do I deal with this storm of emotion, right? Uh, it, it, a lot of it relates to the loss of a loved one. And that, that's understandable. Uh, grief and the loss of a loved one, is uh, they go hand in hand, right? Um, but there wasn't a lot of content out there for people who have been victims of a scam. I found a few channels that uh, had posted a few things, but um, they seem to have stopped posting for a while. So here we go. Uh, five stages of grief, right? You've first got denial, then anger, then um, bargaining, depression, and acceptance. And it's not necessarily an order that is going to happen every time or that you're gonna feel all of them or that you're gonna go through and and never feel again. No, 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 no. These are just how they're classified. So, um, denial. You know, you get some news, like grandpa's passed away and your first thought is, no, oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Grandpa's gone, you know, or just for example. Um, this isn't really an emotion that I felt in regards to being scammed. I didn't go through denial, really. I, there were moments during the phone call where I was, I was um, incredulous, right? That's why I was Googling the different people's names as they were giving them to me and trying to figure out if the caller was legit or not. And, um, but afterwards there was no denial like I can't believe this happened uh, this isn't happening or no it, it didn't really apply to my situation and um, what I wish I felt more of though during the times uh, which I'll come to later um, was the second stage anger because I would get really angry I'd be frustrated with myself with these people who are doing the scamming with all the fallout of it having to admit this this uh at being tricked right you're not you're not feeling too good about yourself you feel a mixture of guilt and shame and like <laughs> i fell for the scam <laughs> i'm very aware that scams exist and i've i've been very fascinated by this kind of stuff i there's never been a phishing email that's ever gotten to me but a a phishing phone call <laughs> oh gotcha luke uh, so the anger is, is both placed on the people doing the scamming and on yourself and at the situation as a whole. So if you want to call that a kind of denial because you're you're angry at the fact that this thing has happened, I, I guess you could kind of twist it that way. But anger was something that uh, I wish I had felt more of when I was in the fourth stage, depression. Because anger is such... It's, it's a much harder emotion than the the absolute apathy and drained feeling that you have in the depths of a depression. Just <sighs> anger makes you feel powerful. And when you are lost in it, that's when really bad things happen. You break stuff, you hurt people, it's not good. Um, but in small doses or a cold anger, you might describe it as something, a righteous anger, right? <laughs> You can find uses for that. It can get you through harder times. And when I was feeling that fourth stage depression, I was wishing to feel the second stage of anger. I was like, I wish I could be more angry, but I just felt defeated, ashamed, frustrated, um, just uninterested in anything that was even remotely interesting to me just a day ago. Um, and, and throughout that whole week, um, yeah, stage two, I wish there was more of, <laughs> you know, in, in healthy amounts. I'm not saying I want to walk around like the hole can break everything, but I wish there was more of it because stage four, depression, gripped me like, like crazy. I, I didn't want to see my kids. I didn't want to work on my personal projects. I didn't, <laughs> didn't give a heck about what I was doing at work. I didn't, every little thing was, was frustrating me. 
you're in, stuck in traffic. Yeah. Commutes are the stupidest thing ever. <laughs> you know, the, whatever it was, it it was not worth my time. But more than that, it was uninteresting. It I couldn't sleep, and I didn't want to get out of bed in the morning. You know, it was it, the depression thing was brutal. But uh, thank God it was short lived. You know, with enough time in between the scam and now, I am feeling a lot better. I am feeling a lot more like myself. My routines have come back into play. I've been working on those personal projects. I've been really enjoying time with the family, like genuinely enjoying it. Um, We'll talk about that in a second. Um, Yeah, uh, time really does heal all wounds. And I think a lot of positive self-care has got me through that cloudy feeling just not present with your day you're not present with what you're doing and you're not interested in doing any of it because you feel horrible uh so i totally skipped over stage three there bargaining i again it's kind of like denial i don't understand exactly how bargaining applies to being scammed i guess you could you could see like the desire to try to get back at the scammers you know, or working with your bank to try to get the money back or filing police reports, all that jazz as a kind of bargaining. But it doesn't really apply to how it's described in the stages of grief as it relates to people passing away. Usually that stage is like praying that it's a lie, praying it's it's mingled with the denial, uh, hoping that things could be different. Please bring them back, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, and I may be totally wrong on all this, so please correct me. Uh, but I, I don't see how denial or bargaining really applied to my situation, hundred percent, very strongly. Um, and then five acceptance. It's kind of where I'm at now. It's like it is what it is. <laughs> you know, I'm human. <laughs> I was afraid of going to jail. <laughs> And I wanted to do what I needed to do to stay out of jail and just go through the legal channels and do the right thing so I could come home at night to my kids and spend time with family and go to work and support them. Uh, I got swept up in that and my brain was shut down. I, I wasn't thinking as clearly as I could have been in the face of that fear. It is what it is. Stuff happened and here we are. And as of now, we're resolving things with the bank. Things are looking positive that uh, funds will be sorted out uh, and sorted out permanently. I, I mentioned in previous videos that the bank's email is like, we've returned the money, but we will take it at any second. Uh, it, but that's outside the scope of this video. So. I feel in a place of acceptance and there's still moments where I'm frustrated. There's still moments where I'm sad, guilty, shameful, feeling like a fool, but I feel past it, like 70 to 99% past it. Uh, It's going to be okay. It's all going to work out. Even if the money is never returned fully, you know what I mean? It, it, just to verif- uh, clarify, so everyone watching who hasn't seen a previous video, the bank has reversed the transactions and put the money back in the account, but we got an email that was like, you could get a credit on your account. And uh, if we find out this was a, was a fraud, we're taking that money. So that just made me paranoid, but I highly doubt they'll take it back. Uh, but uh, even if the money were to be taken back, I'm still employed, we're still okay, we're going to eat, we're going to have a roof. It's just going to be a very expensive lesson. So that, that nags at me the most is, because my wife and I are very fiscally responsible. We're very on top of our finances and keeping a budget and not living extravagant lives. And I just drained our bank account for nothing so that that kind of shame and guilt and frustration that uh that is something that i'll be working through over time for sure for sure um anything else 
pretty much covers the five stages. Um, I just, if anyone is in a situation or, or finds themselves in a situation going forward where they're on the phone and something out of the blue is falling into your lap, it could be a jury duty scam. It could be any and all kinds of options, right? If it sounds weird, hang up. <laughs> that sounds so cliche and hard to do, but really just hang up, collect yourself for a minute and do some digging while you're off the line. Like really do some digging. It's going to be really hard to do so. I didn't want to hang up because I needed to stay on the line for the deputies to process some paperwork and get me pulled into the station for my arrest and all that jazz. But uh, what are they going to do if you have bad phone reception? You can't be arrested for bad phone reception. Hang up. Call the sheriff's office. You know, Check up on your arrest warrants. That kind of thing. And I'm pretty sure you can Google that and look it up online. It's it's public record. You can literally search your name and it'll pop up with search warrants. Um, so take care of yourselves, okay? It's not easy. It's definitely not fun. Uh, it's going to be a process for me dealing with this for the next one to 50 weeks. I mean, I, I don't know. But uh, two weeks later, one week later, two weeks later. See, I don't even know how much time it was. I feel a lot better. And I just want to tell you, like, take care of yourself. Be safe out there. Hang up. <laughs> and, um, and take care of yourselves. Because I, I couldn't get through this without the strength of my wife and her family who have been there for us during this time. And without my kids. Um but uh, also without myself, you know, you, you have to force yourself to go to sleep. You have to force yourself to eat. Even if you vomit the food back up, you have to eat. And <laughs> so take care of yourselves, protect yourselves. And, um, yeah, <laughs> have a great day. I don't think I'm going to make another video on this scam stuff. I'm, unless someone has questions or they want to see more expanded content on it, there's nothing really more to say. Uh, it is what it is. Going forward, here we go. Thank you very much for watching. Have a wonderful evening, and I'll talk to you later.